okay so now i am going to discuss one interesting aspect about moving our objects when we are in 3d view you can view it from different directions but what problem that occurs in 3d view is when we want to place some object let us say if i wanted to place this light exactly on the top of this cube fine and if i grab and try to move it like this this gives a feel that it is on top but if you look at from some other direction it is not exactly on top so aligning our objects from the 3d or perspective view is not a very great way to do things so for that what we can do is we can actually use views which are front view side view top view bottom view and so on and try to align the objects in that manner that way every time you are doing any movement it is restricted only in two directions okay so let me do one thing i will grab this cube and move it in y direction a bit and i will make a copy of this cube so how do you copy a object well simple you can right click and say copy object right or you can say control c standard control c and control v fine now what happens is when you do control c control v new object is copied in the same location so what you do is immediately you do a grab and move your object from there restrict it on y axis and move it there now with these two objects right now with me if i wanted to place this object let us say exactly on top of this object fine aligned properly with some cap so how would you do that let us try just by grabbing it and trying to arbitrarily move it around and assuming that okay that this is done this is the assumption fine now what happens is every time you get a feel that it is okay you will end up looking at it from a different direction and you will find that no it's not precisely set so what do we do in these two cases in these kind of cases you don't do these movements or setting up the locations by moving the object in this perspective view so how do you change to the front view fine so first simply go to the front view by pressing one from the keyboard shortcut or whatever is the suitable shortcut available or from the menu you can go now i am in the front view let me move this camera a bit here so here this is on front orthographic now here you can zoom grab your object and place it on top now here this is a front orthographic view like this fine so it looks like my object is exactly on top so from the front view it is exactly on so this is your orthographic view fine so object looks exactly on top of each other now from the front view the front orthographic view they are perfectly on top of each other fine but if we come back to our 3d view we will notice they are not so in front view they have been set on top of each other but here if you notice with the with respect to x axis it is outside so once you have done the front view you can go to the side view now in side view this is where you will align this object and move it on top of the other object over here right as you can see you can grab and move the object in this particular manner right i am using the keyboard shortcut grab and i am moving the object now this is done so front view side view you can take the front and back also by the control and side left side right side view both you can check and now if final check also you want to do so from front and side it is done now being a cube object it should be aligned by now with the two things but if it would have been some other case you may want to check it from the top also so from the top you see only one cube that means they are perfectly aligned okay so using the front view side view top view this is how we align the location of any object so let us say now uh, let me go to the front view i'll grab this object on z axis and move it upwards a bit 
I wanted this light to be placed here in between exactly over here in the center. So what is going to happen is if I do this in 3D view, I grab the light and place it. This may not be exactly in the center. See it's outside. So again to do this, let's take up the front view, grab the light and roughly place it somewhere here. Fine. Now go to the side view by pressing 3. Now you can see it is outside. Now grab it on X or Y axis. Green one is Y axis. Let's move it on Y axis. Now here it is here. So you can now go to the front view, side view and obviously top view. You can see, you won't be seeing it. But yes, the light is now placed properly in between my objects. So with this way, we can perfectly set up our objects and align them. That is the idea with the front view, side view and top view. You can align your objects. Okay. So that is there in this video. We will continue further in the upcoming videos.